I like to visit my favourites, but I also, as I said, I'm always on the outlook for something that I haven't heard about. I like driving along dirt roads, you know. And find, find, some of, find somewhere different, yeah, you know. Different wineries, you know, new wineries. You know. If you can get up to Two Hands Winery, I think that's a real hidden gem. Two Hands has just got an outstanding range. The wines there are, are big, they're powerful, jammy, you know, everything you want from a Barossa wine. Langmile, they have the oldest vineyards in the world just about. They've got certainly got the oldest vines in the world. They're these really gnarly looking um, looking things. They just they look, look amazing. It's just, you know, love of good food and good wine. I mean, I think it's that combination, you know, it's really nice to get the two of them together. Hentley Farm, you know, is really, really exciting what they're doing there. Hentley Farm, I think people should go to Hentley Farm. Their restaurant there is astonishing. Their food is incredible. Fermentation is developing a huge reputation for fantastic food. Oh, so Vintner's that, Market, Market, that's fantastic. fantastic. They have everything. They have sweets, dried food, drink, chocolates, uh, juices, yeah, gelati, uh, meats, processed meats, the goat meat, salmon and, and things like that, and oh, of course the cheeses. I love all the food here, particularly Brian Pearson's chocolates and fudgets, fudge, that's my sweet tooth coming out of me. Carmilla's curry paste, that's a real a real eye opener, it's very nice. I love buying things from, from markets and being able to chat with someone about them because um, I just feel like it's a much better experience. You know, if you talk to someone, they'll always have a recipe, they'll always have a way of cooking something that you haven't considered, so you always learn things. I love that ch um, cheese shop yeah. in, um, is that Angerston I'm thinking Anguston, of? Angerston, yeah. Barossa Valley Cheese Company, Victoria's doing some really lovely things there with both soft and hard cheeses. She's, you know, won all sorts of awards. Apex Bakery in Tanunda. They've got uh, the longest running wood fired oven in the country and they make fantastic sourdough bread. The Lindock Bakery, I swear it's got to be one, one of the best bakeries in, the, in Australia. Oh, I forgot to mention Maggie Beer. How could I forget that? That's ridiculous. Maggie Beer. Um, visit Maggie Beer's farmhouse. If I'm ever trying to impress people with like a food platter, if I'm going out to dinner, I always gather things from there. Because, yeah. yeah, Maggie Beer stuff is people like People are always impressed hit. when you bring people that. People are like, always impressed. People are always impressed. And like the pheasant mm. one, like that's my one of my favourite <laughs> delicious. That is. Beautiful sort of country, lovely people, you know. Um, really nice place to just get away for a sort of a weekend or a day, you know. There's a lot to do, there's a lot to see, and you need a bit of time to do it. Just get in the car, come out, you don't need to get your car serviced or get new tyres. <laughs> it is a 40 minute drive away. That's true. Get up there. Don't, don't go to the bottle shop and buy Shiraz. Go to the Barossa and actually go to the cellar door, walk in there, experience the atmosphere. We're, we're a cool state, we've got some awesome produce, awesome producers, um, and we're, you know, we're proud to show them off.